In plain sight, within an each reach of build-up areas, human settlements and housing estates is where the mute swan cygnus oller can be spotted. This strongly territorial water bird utilizes a variety of habitats all over Europe, both freshwater rivers, lakes, ponds and marshes, as well as saltwater and marine territories. The mute swan has a distinct appearance, hardly white plumage, an orange beak bordered with black, and what it's most famous for, a long, elegant neck that allows for forage both on land and water. This diurnal omnivore can reach between 125 to 170 centimeters in length and weight from 7.6 to 14 kg. Its diverse diet consists of aquatic plants, insects, mollusks, aquatic and marine worms, leaves, root, and algae. Apart from being monogamous, the mute swan is strongly territorial. For example, the bird will use the same nest each year and lay from 4 to 10 eggs. They can live up to 19 years. However, when kept in captivity, Cygnus alert can reach a vulnerable age of 40. As seen in the species occurrence map in the Netherlands, Cygnus alert is present all over the country with the highest numbers in the following provinces. North Holland, South Holland, and Utrecht. As for the monthly and yearly changes in abundance in the Netherlands graphs, Cygnus Aller population declines from January to June and then there is a growth from June until the peak mid in July to August due to the breeding season. When considering yearly fluctuation in number of species, there has been a steady growth reported from 2005 until a decline in 2011. Thereafter, the population grew steadily to reach its peak in 2017. A rapid decline from 2019 to 2020 can be seen afterwards. In contrast to the Cygnus Aller, Cygnus atratus, a black feathered swan with white flight feathers and bright red bill, has a lifespan of 40 years in its natural habitat. Freshwater territories in both temperate and tropical regions of Australasia. This omnivore species lays five to six eggs and has another distinct feature. It makes much more noise than the mute swan due to its high pitched voice. The black swan can grow from 110 to 142 centimeters in length and weigh between 3.7 and 8.7 kilograms. Closer related species is Cygnus columbianus. The tundra swan is inhabiting freshwater regions of arctic and subarctic tundra. Its plumage is entirely white with black feet and a bill that is mostly black, with a thin salmon pink streak running along the mouth line and yellow in the proximal part. The tundra swan lay two to seven eggs and unlike mute swans, but like the other arctic swans, are migratory birds. Their high-pitched honking calls sound similar to a black goose. As a herbivore feeding on aquatic vegetation, grass growing on dry land, leftover grains, and other crops such as potatoes, tundra swan can reach up to 115 to 150 centimeters in length, 168 to 211 centimeter in wingspan, and a weight range of 3.4 to 9.6 kilograms, and it has a lifespan of about 24 years. Similar in appearance but larger can be found in Pale Arctic. Cygnus cygnus, the whooper swan, reaches the length of 140 to 165 centimeters and a wingspan of 205 to 275 centimeters within the lifespan of 16 years. The weight is typically in the range of 7.4 to 14 kilograms. Its characteristics, deep honking call can be heard in wetlands and freshwaters. As a diurnal herbivore, the whooper swan feeds mainly on aquatic plants and lay four to seven eggs. As you can see, a variety of closely related species of swan inhibits numerous regions around the globe. They can be distinguished by their morphology, life history, and behavior. However, common characteristics such as monogamy are also present. Their evolutionary pathway is Cygnus artritis and Cygnus ulnar diverge from Cygnus columbianus and Cygnus cygnus 8.8 .8 million years ago. Subsequently, Cygnus ulnar diverged from Cygnus artritis 5.9 million years ago. From this point, the sole focus of this documentary will be the mute swan Cygnus ulnar. Due to its omnipresence in Europe's water habitats and interesting feeding patterns, a question arises, what effect does the mute swan, Cygnus Aller, have on the submerging aquatic vegetation? Submerged aquatic vegetation plays an important role in the ecosystem of freshwater lakes by providing oxygen, food, and living place for all kinds of aquatic and offshore animals.
Mute swans often eat aquatic vegetation, consuming about 3 to 4 kilograms of vegetation per day. By doing so, they limit the resources of another marine life, and because mute swans are native species, they can cause competition for resources, which disrupts the natural cycle of ecosystems. It has also been observed that mute swans prefer to forage in shallow water. As a result, reducing the biomass of submerged aquatic vegetation by up to 95% at sites with water level lower than half a meter. While the mute swans search for food, they can also dislodge submerged aquatic vegetation by paddling and raking the substrate, increasing the turbidity of the water. In general, a flock of mute swans tend to be more destructive than pairs due to the large number of birds in flocks, and it can result in substantial decline of submerged aquatic vegetation at the local level. Although a flock of mute swans has a significant negative impact on the presence and abundance of aquatic vegetation, such as microphytes beds, it does not affect any onshore plants nearby the lake. Mute swans' foraging behavior has shown to decrease diversity of submerged aquatic vegetation, together with its strong territorial behavior that drives away other waterfowl. This greatly impacts the diversity of animals in the area. For example, carp tend to spawn in a vegetated substrate that is often destroyed by the mute swan. This could prevent carp from spawning efficiently, resulting in indirect economic costs for fish pond landowners. According to the investigations done, the negative impact of mute swan on the submerged aquatic vegetation is a slow process that only shows significance after several years, but due to its tendency of reusing the same nesting spot every year, it is not hard to achieve. In the past, the mute swan's impact on the lake ecosystem has been researched in depth in the US and Canada because it was introduced as an invasive species. They thrive due to the lack of natural predators and rich food sources. In recent years, European mute swans also have increased in number due to not being hunted as much and a better living environment due to less pollution. Many ecologists and scientists find this a concerning situation and therefore we should keep a close look on the future development.